Universe of Visions of Light and Love. This is your reading for the energy in November. This reading is for all of the Cancers out there. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For the energy in November, if you are a returning viewer, welcome back. If this is your first time stopping by, welcome to Visions of Light and Love. If the reading does not resonate with your situation, check out your Moon, your Venus, and Rising Sign videos. Cross watchers are welcome as well. If you like my energy, my vibe, you connect with this reading, and you want to show some support to the channel, hit the subscription link, along with the notification bell and the thumbs up image to help this video circulate. Thumbs up. If you need something more private, something more specific and personal to your story, the link to the email address is in the description box. Let's see. All right. So we have the Ten of Cups in a reverse, the Knight of Cups in a reverse, <laughs> the Two of Wands coming out sideways. I'm going to leave it just like that. Please comment below. Let me know if this is your story. Just or just like the video. Or the reading. The magician card. Gemini Virgo energy along with Aries. Some of you could be dealing with an Aries. Okay. With the Emperor. We have the King of Pentacles. The Ace of Wands. <coughs> okay. Let's see. I'm just, the cards are coming out funny. <laughs> so we have the, the Page of Cups. The Judgment card, Scorpio's Energy, Sideways. That's how it came out, along with the Eight of Pentacles. I'm placing them how they came out. Page of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Some of you are not taking action to go towards a family situation, a marriage. Not taking action in that direction at all with the Ten of Cups and this Knight of Cups in a reverse. You're not even thinking about it. Things could be at a standstill. You definitely, with this two of wands, are on the fence about making a decision for a reconnection. It's here twice in this reading. Either you or this person could be an Aries with this emperor. A Gemini, a Virgo, or an Aries. Someone could be manifesting or trying to manifest a reconnection or a commitment, a higher level of commitment. A solid commitment or something like that. A new passionate beginning. Someone could be sending you, I miss you, I love you, I want to see you. And you may, I feel like, and this could be vice versa, apply the energy as if it's to your story. Only you know your story. Someone here only wants friends with benefits. With this judgment card, again, I'm seeing someone on a fence about reconnecting and working out this relationship. Not even attempting to decide on which way they want to go. So let's see what else is going on. What else is going on with the cancers? Why is this ten of, ten of Cups here in the reverse with this Nine Knights of Cups? Okay. Let's see. Yeah. Ten of Cups in the reverse. The Ace of Materials. I'm seeing that someone is on a fence about, a, a, about going back or going towards a marriage or a relationship. Going back home. Three of emotions because of a third party situation. And there's a decision that needs to be made with this two of inspirations. But someone is not making it. That's what I'm seeing. Yeah. Someone walked away. Five of materials. Because they felt like they were alone. 
And they needed clarity with this sun card. Leo's energy. Clear, they, they walked away because they needed clarity. They need needed time to heal with this star card. Aquarius energy. This could be a divine connection as well. Twin flame, soulmate. On those terms. Something deep. But someone here is dealing with someone else. And someone walked away because of the third party. To, to get some clarity, to take some time out for themselves, to heal. And now this person is, has, has hope that things could start over once this third party comes to an end. Because this person walked away. Someone walked away from you or you walked away from them. And then whomever walked away is now manifesting a new beginning. After being heartbroken, let down. Dealing with some type of deceptive energy. Someone here is a wolf in sheep's clothing. They say one thing, do another. With the two of inspiration. Again, someone here is not making a decision to commit to this union. Someone here is non-committal. That's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a non-committal and feeling non-committal energy. Over a third party. Three of voices. There's a third party going on here. So, and within a marriage. Four of inspiration. And I feel like with this high priestess, Cancer Pisces energy, this is what was illuminated in a relationship that there was a third, there's a third party going on. <clears throat> within a committed relationship. And someone wants to reconnect with this six of emotions. But there's some anxiety here because this person that was in a third party or that created the third party is on the fence about reconnecting. Yeah, this person is on the fence. Two of emotions. I feel like this person likes the life that they are in. And um, they're embracing that... Um, Forbidden fruit. Could be you, Cancer. This is the chariot. You moving on to a new passionate beginning. Withdrawing from this past relationship and taking steps forward to move forward. You were backstabbed, betrayed, and let down as well. From what I'm seeing. Yeah, moving forward quickly. And someone could be spying on you, um, checking out your social media, driving past your home, your workplace. Yeah, there's a decision to be made, but I don't see anyone, um, not you at this time, putting in work to decide on to reconnect in this union. It, it's the same message that keeps coming up. Like, someone is not reconnecting in this union. And that's just it. However it is, Neon, is, is how it... Yeah, here it is. The Nine of Pentacles. Someone likes being single. That's what the message is. Like being alone. Like having being free. having a, um, Embracing their freedom. Like being with other people. Yeah. Friends with benefits. That's what stable, stabling... Or what stabilizes someone to not even be in a, in a relationship. Yep, here it is. Night of inspiration. That's their player energy. The lovers. Gemini energy. There's someone has a, a mistress or someone on the side, and they're not taking action to go back to this um, marriage or this long-term committed relationship. Someone likes their freedom. Yep, they like having choices with the seven of emotions, like being able to pick between two or three or four. So they're blocking things from moving forward. All right, let's see. Let's see 
what else is here. All right. All right, so how does this person really feel about the sign of cancer? How does this person, okay. Okay, so this person admires you. They want you badly. <laughs> this person wants you badly. Someone is seeing things differently now. They compare other people to you. They have troubles with intimacy. Wish that they can get you back. Okay? So that's how this person feels. So I'm going to leave it at that, Cancers. This, this is your reading for the energy in November. Comment below. Let me know if this is your story. Share, like, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Be safe. I am sending you love, light, peace, and healing energy.